Hey, what's up? David here with After Effects, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I created this Baymax model using Blender. It's a pretty simple setup with uh, just a bunch of primitives, uh, a bit of sculpting, lighting, and a bit of experimentation. So let's get straight into it. I'm just going to actually show you my backup folder or backup collection. Sorry. So first thing I did was I'm just going to hide everything. So this is the blank scene setup. Actually, I might just move my cursor toward orange. So first thing I did was put in a reference image. That way I just get uh, just makes my sculpting and modeling procedure 10 times easier. And in addition to that as well, it will look more realistic. So, and then I added in my body, which is basically just, uh, appears to be just a sphere that is extruded out like that. And then I added my legs, which is again, Actually, I think it's just a duplicate model of my body. So, yeah. I think I added a mirror modifier to this as well. Yeah. So, if I move this around. Yeah, so you can see it's mirroring what I did. I added a subsurface as well. So, keep that in mind just to make sure that it's smooth all the way. Uh, for the body, I didn't actually do a mirror modifier because I had to adjust some of these vertices uh, and I just wanted to have a bit of manual control over it. So, yeah, and it's pretty straightforward. It's just one big sphere extruded. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, next thing I did was the arms, which is up here. Uh, again, it's basically the same thing but just sphere just extrude. I use proportional editing quite a lot. Oh, I might turn on my screen keys actually so you could see everything I do. So screen keys. There we go. So I basically use proportional editing so that when I rotate it uh, it will adjust like some of the other uh, vertexes, a uh, vertices, sorry, or edge loops, so like that. Um, yeah, and mirror modifier and subsurf, same thing. So that's all well in hand. I made the head, which is pretty straightforward, just another extruded sphere. Then I made the fingers. Now, the fingers was a little bit tricky because if I can find it, uh, we got ring, thumb, middle, and index. Yeah, so I think it was a, a basically a duplicate of my arm. And then I kind of rotated it 180 degrees, like, well, the vertices, or in edit mode, I rotated it like that, 180 degrees, so that the thicker end is pointing out and the thinner end is pointing in. And then I just kind of had to shape it using, again, using uh, proportional editing and just manually, uh, just let me turn off my proportional editing, just manually like just moving some of the vertices around just so that I can just, um, let's get the right shape that I wanted. If I go into side view, yeah, and then these were also uh, duplicates of the thumb or the other way around and then yeah just start shaping and making sure that they're like curved in and then like just adding that detail that makes sure the uh, middle finger is um, longer than the ring and index finger and yeah that's pretty much it again mirror modifier subsurf so that you don't have to do it twice my gosh thank gosh I didn't have to do it twice and then for the final touch, I added in my eyes, which was basically just a plane that I extruded out. Go into edit mode. Uh, yeah, I just extruded it. I got a plane here. Extruded that out. Do I have a mirror modifier? No, no, I didn't. I think I added two planes in here. And then I used like the uh, bridge 
edge loops to edge some of the uh, edge loops together so that I didn't have to do it manually. But um, that's pretty much it for the eyes. And then uh, one final touch uh, before I added like that Baymax access port. Uh, that's where his health chip is, I believe. That's what makes him like, I don't know, nurturing and have care for the user. I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen the movie, but yeah, that's where his access port is. Um, that's in my Baymax collection. I didn't actually uh, do it in my backup. I just made sure I wanted to have a backup before it gets ruined. Um, then I added my camera. And then I added some lights. And then my plane here. My watch is basically my background. Uh, like that. Uh, actually, I might actually just show you how I set this up real quickly. So I might just uh, make a new collection here. Um, so I go mesh and then plane and then you can scale it up however you want. Go into edit mode and if we hit 2, now it select the edge uh, sides and then if I hit E and extrude it up on the Z axis like that. If I hit uh, select this one and hit control B and then I can just like Maybe bevel that out a little bit. And then I can add in as many segments I want, depending on how smooth I want this to be. So I think I think five is good enough. To, and then I'll just shade smooth that. And then that's it. That's how you basically, and you can just shape it however you want. So maybe you can go in two and then hit, uh, just shape it however you want that pretty simple setup that's how you basically do it okay just, yeah and then if I go into my uh, render view I've got a light here just so, to show that I got some shadows here and I got a, this HDR which I'll show you actually I might show you the final result so so this was the final result I got. Um, yeah, I'll show you how I set this up. So let's go in here. Let's go into the shader editor. So I'll start with the HDR first because that's the most straightforward one. So the HDR itself is this small parking lot. So if I go in here, uh, yeah, this one here, right here. And then I just start playing with, uh, started rotating on the ZX so that the light is shining, maybe just in front so that I can get the front area welded. I just added these uh, complementary lighting. This light is the main uh, source light, just so that um, I can get that shadow. And then I just have this other backlight just to light up the edges here. Okay, I'll just hide this plane. Um, okay, for the materials, it's pretty straightforward again. I didn't really use any image textures, so let's have a look. Oh, yeah, and there's the access port, by the way. Can't really see it in render view, but it's good, good enough. So the red background is just a principal diffuse, principal shader, and I just made the made the uh, base color red. That's pretty much it. And then for the objects. So this is where I experimented it a little bit. So first things first, subsurf is definitely a must because I want some light uh, illuminated uh, through. Uh, metallic, I just put a touch. I just wanted to give a little bit of shininess to it. Specular was a must as well. A roughness, I just wanted to smooth out that specular just a little bit just so that I can get, uh, because if you look on the original image on like on the internet or something, you can see how light is passing through the shader. So that was pretty important. I used the reference photo as well. So yeah, just if you're not sure, just always use reference because it will make your life 10 times easier. Same goes for the black material of the eyes as well. 
And that's it for the materials. Not much else you can do. Um, and one other tip I can give you is basically uh, for this. I'll just go back into uh, this view here. So you can see here, I've kind of sculpted it uh, and made it like combined with the uh, body. With and that goes for the head, and I didn't do the legs and the fingers because you can't really see it anywhere, just the top area. So I can actually quickly show you how to do that. It's really easy to do. So I'm just going. So if I make a maybe, uh, no, maybe a UV sphere, shade smooth that, and then I don't know. I'll just try to do this quickly as I can here. Uh, and then I'll just do that. I'm just doing a basic setup here. And then, I don't know, maybe I can like shift D that. And I'll add a mirror modifier so that I don't have to do it twice. Uh, mirror, yeah, mirror on the x axis. And just hit O, go up. G. Like this. I'll just rotate it like that. I'm just doing a basic setup here. So initially it was like this, like the arms intersecting. So grab a boolean and then select your arms and do it union. And if you hide your arms, you can see how it's sort of interacting with your uh arm here and the reason why I have the stretch mode is because if I go into edit mode you can see how it's all stretched out so yeah uh, I might add a control to, to this so that I can get a little bit of detail okay so once you've done that you can go ahead and just apply your boolean to your model actually before we do that we can just add in a bit of edge loops here so that get a bit of detail okay so once we've done that you can go ahead and apply your boolean like that and then you can apply your subsurf so you can hide your arms and then if we click on this have this selected and go into sculpting have this clay strip selected make sure to hit dynamic button topology and you can change the settings if you want uh, I'm just gonna leave it at 8 because it's what best works best for my computer and then just start like doing this and you can see how it's merging together like that so that's really helpful if you want to like just merge some of the uh, like comp like pieces together you don't want to have this harsh crease like that. So you can just go all around and then like that. Oh, I forgot to put on the symmetry. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, but this is a demonstration. And then what you can do, I'm just going to uncheck that. So before you actually start it, make sure you have that symmetry turned on. Uh, and then you can just like smooth it out. It, looks, it will blend really well. So just blend that. You can even change the scale if you want. So if you just right click and then just like change all these settings if you want. So you can just do that. Just blends really nicely. Just blend on the sides here. If you have like one of those stylo pens, this will work really well, but uh, I'm using my mouse right now, so uh, it's a little bit tricky, but uh, if you have a pen, it'll work really well. So like that. 
So you can see how it looks really smoothed out now, and it's like merged together. And then you can hit Shade Smooth for this, and then just smooth that out. Okay, so that's basically how you do the sculpting part for it. So I might just uncheck that and just go back into here. Okay, so now that we're back here, I'll just turn off. Ah, I gotta hide all this again. Hide that, hide that, hide that. Okay. So if we go into the camera view, I'll just show you some render settings that I use just to get the final. So my camera is basically just a square. So if we go into my camera. Uh, uh, yep, so it's 1080 by 1080. Uh, it's only the single frame, so I didn't really touch on any of this. I did select like to render region so that it would just start, uh, render what the camera sees. Uh, yeah, the sampling I set it to 256. Uh, I did try to experiment with this. I didn't really see much difference with the diffuse bounces. So you can just uh, like turn that down if you want. I turned off uh, reflective and refractive uh, caustics, whatever that is. I don't, I don't know what that is. It kind of slowed down my rendering time. So uh, tiles 120 by 120, pretty straightforward. So that's it. And that's how I got uh, finished modeling my Baymax. So. You can see here I modeled a little bit on the head as well, just so that it looks connected. But if you look at the uh, photo, it looks like it's actually um, got a little bit of a harsh crease. So I just kind of left that in there, but still smoothed it out just a little bit. Okay, so, but other than that, that's about it, guys. So it's a pretty simple tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned uh, some new techniques or new tricks that you can use for your... I don't know, maybe your own art or stuff like that. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of tutorials where I just show you a bit of modeling skills and sculpting skills. Um, uh, but other than that, guys, my name's David. I hope you learn interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.